Welcome to Alpha Says. Here we talk about food tips and reviews. This is a tip video, and we are at Eastern Mediterranean University student portal. What we would show you in this video is how you will be able to navigate around the student portal. This is key for every student, and as a university student, you must have access to your portal to know your student info, your cost related, and finance related. First thing that would happen once you're a first time user, you'll be prompt to change your password. You will get these details from registrar's office once you register and it's usually your student info, your student ID and then your passport number. You could request for reset at the home page of it. Also at the home page, you've got a lot of announcements from the university, usually exams related, um, guidelines, whatever they have ongoing, they announce it at the page just before you log in. So pay attention to this, they usually very important and um, let's get started around the portal from any browser just type the student portal website which i'll provide at the description including the new portal at the portal the first thing you would say it's the login details so you provide your username and password and also there is a verification code just click on login if you have issues just click on reset password at the bottom then you fill in the details that you see in there please make sure that this matches your registration detail at the university and click proceed if you have any issue you can also contact the school support i would also provide their email at the bottom now once you log in at the main page on personal you would see um, online student document and other things also their club information and all that but let's look at online student document there you go click on request and select the document type you want and the language once you're done and then click on to whom it may concern and then you click order you need to do this as soon as the semester begins or as soon as you do your registration because you might need it and uh, it would take 24 hours for verification which would be important if you did it on spot at personal at, at the top you would see vaccination information so just click on there. Once you click, it will give you the option to add your vaccination status if you're fully vaccinated or partial. And you can also have the option there to upload the document and then your antigen and PCR test, which is required some time for exams and the rest to do so. Once you do them, you can also update it based on how it's required. Now let's go to the next one. At login, you would see academic on top. When you click on it, you would see a whole menu. Now, the first one is advisors and instructors. This changes each semester. You would see the list of your advisors and lab instructors, depending on your kind of course. Now, when you look at the timetable, you would also see their emails and the rest on the site. Now, that would show you when they have classes. And if you would like to meet them in person, you can also find out from their schedules. Let's go back and um, I'll take you on semester courses. Now, semester courses is your timetable. You would find from here when you have classes and at which um, faculty or which classroom. And please ignore my ugly photo. Now, at the bottom, you would see the courses that are confirmed. If you've also request for withdraw, you should also find it at the bottom once it's done. Now, let's go to the main menu. From there, you would see receipt exam. And that's if you would want to receive an exam that's already done and academic course, course C, that's the whole things that you've done and view transcript. And now let's look at personal exam schedule. This is very important. This only appears when exam is very close, like a week at least. So please go on time. Let's take a look at financial. Once you click on top, you would see bank account numbers. Once you click on bank account numbers, you would see each bank, um, both Turkish Lira and US dollars. You would see other banks at the bottom. 
and so and so you would also see coop bank they also have branches at the school so if you're unable to do bank transfers and the rest you can just go to the school bank you would find the location at the description below now again at the other part of um, finance as well let's look at like debt and payments so here is where you would find like what you've paid for the semester and if you have any pending debts there's also an online payment version of this which i would also do in future videos how to pay you can also request for an invoice from the school to give you so you can just get a bank transfers and wires at the finance office here you would see your total and debts and all of that at the bottom when you check on personal you would see transport once you click on that at personal you would find the bus routes from different places so you can just apply for those you can just apply from there um just put in the details as necessary select which city you belong this is very beneficial if you're a student that lives in different city other than from augusta where eastern mediterranean university is located so from here you would be able to select the days that you would want to um, commute to school or just select the cities that you're coming from and then there you go you get a free transportation which i highly commend the school for Let's take a quick glimpse at the new student portal. I'll also provide a link to this at the bottom. So you could either use the old one or the new one. So it has a language option. You could just change it from the top and then you can either log in with your student details or you can log in with Office 365. I love this so much because it's so smooth and the transitions are just super fast. I don't know when the school would replace this one to the current one, but you'd find a link below where you can also log into it it has everything just like the same one but it's more compact and it's much beautiful this brings us to the end of this video on our next video we'll be talking about student permits and how you can do it remember you really need this you have a short frame to do it please if you're enjoying this or you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe if i also exclude anything or you would want to share something else with other students, do comment below.